it's in here. Another episode of Getting It On with Kaon. 76 wagon, side molly panels. Now, these molly panels are compatible with rear roof shelf and our cargo barrier. So let's get started. the back here the install uh, is pretty straightforward but there's a couple of little things to consider now the mounting points up in the roof we've got one that's easy to locate and there's another one here um, you can use the bracket to locate it and the other thing we need to do is we actually need to nut uh, a couple of mounting points in the frame down the bottom there so we'll have a look at this first now this mounting point is easy because just lift this from it off and there's an M6 captive nut behind there. What we can do, we can use this bracket to locate the second hole. Now this bracket here is on the left hand side, it's got a little notch. The corresponding molly panel is also got a notch, so you can get the, uh, the right molly on the correct side. Um, notice also that this bracket, the flange, faces inwards. So we're going to just put this up in here first. finger tight. Now I'm just going to level out that bracket. I'm going to grab a little screwdriver so I can poke the hole through the lining. Now you're going to have to trust us that we got this right. Push it through. There you go. Found that hole. And you just want to open up that hole in the roof lining a little. I'm just going to push that roof lining back a little. Now that should be enough for me to get it in an M6 bolt through. It's snug, but it'll get through. Okay. Now we want to sort of, it's slotted, but we want to sort of get this position in the middle and level. And we'll just nip that up a little. Not too tight because we're going to want to adjust the position. Now grab your bottom bracket here. Now this one here, it's got three points there but that's for the prototype. We've actually realized that we only need the two mounting points here. So we need to drill two holes for two nut certs in the bottom there. And the way we're going to do that is we'll attach this to the molly panel, attach this to the top bracket and we'll mark those holes. So I'll go grab the panel now. Okay, we got the panel. This is the correct side. It's actually got a little notch on the top to correspond with a little notch on this one. Got the bottom bracket. What we're going to do is attach it temporarily with the M6 Bolton washer. Okay, so still can move. And we'll grab another couple of M6 bolts and attach it to the top there. We've got nut certs in the molly panel to make it easy. Imagine trying to hold a little nut behind there. That'd be pretty fiddly. So we've got this one up here as well. Now we recommend uh, nut certing this bottom bracket there. But if you, if you want to try using an adhesive, a double sided tape or, or something like that, that to hold that bottom bracket in. We recommend you use a 3M jaw lock. And what you can do is you can put that tape right across the bottom. But uh, in this case, we, we do recommend the nut certs, much, much sturdier, much more uh, secure way to mount it. Now, now that I've got all those up, nipped up finger tight, no little gaps or anything like that, I'll push that bracket all the way down. It's sitting on the flat there. Now, just sort of eye off everything. Make sure it's level across the top. This latches in the middle of the cutout. Everything looks really good. So now I've got this bracket in here pushed down. It's up against the frame. So on the bracket on the bottom there, you notice that they're slot slotted. So what I recommend is you mark the center of the bottom arc. Because what that allows us to do later is adjust the position of that bracket. So we'll mark it right in the middle, just make sure it's correct. And I'll do the other one as well. Now we're going to remove that 
you know, drill some holes. Okay, we've got our marks there. Now, uh, we're using M6 nut certs. We need a nine and a half mil hole, or a 10 mil will be okay too. We're gonna use a uh, step drill. Now, this, this makes pretty easy work of drilling through sheet metal. Um, using a normal drill, you can often sort of push through, but if you are gonna use a normal drill, I recommend uh, starting with uh, like a three mil pilot, and then opening it up to nine and a half mil. Okay, so yeah, a good idea to, to put something down to collect all the, the schwarf coming off. Nothing worse than trying to pick out all the bits of steel in your carpet. Make sure you don't go too far. Yep, and that's my 9mm and one more 10mm. Once these are drilled, it's a good idea to seal up those um, exposed surfaces with some sort of paint. Don't tell the missus I stole her nail polish. It makes it nice and easy. So nicely touch that up. Okay, time to install the nut sets. At this point, if you've got a nutsert gun, pull that nutsert gun out. Otherwise, uh, we've supplied you with some um, bolts and nuts and so forth to be able to set the nutsert. Now, the way we do that is we've got an M8 nut, got serrations on the back, which will stop the nutsert from turning when we uh, try to uh, pull it up with the bolt. Got an M6 bolt, place the M6 bolt through the top in that fashion, and then wind the nutsert onto the back like so. Now that's what it needs to look like and what we what I like to do before I try to set the nut set in the hole is I actually like to start setting it outside. So get, get a 13mm ring spanner, put it over the nut. I like using a ring spanner because it helps hold everything square and with your allen key just start turning on that and you can see this is not turning but it's actually pulling the nut set and starting to set that and you can see there's a little bulge there which is what you want. That means it's starting to collapse and it won't rotate. Now at this point, this is where I put it in the hole. Nut sets are in, two mounts on the bottom. Grab your mount, we'll install this one first. M6 by 16 bolt. And what I like to do is I like to pull that forward tighten that up. That'll allow a little bit of a gap down the bottom. Bottom one, you want a, a washer and a, a bolt just to cover up that slot. Now we just want to nip everything up and then we'll adjust the position before we tighten. Happy with that? Go ahead and tighten everything up. That's it, we're done, they're in. They look fantastic. We've made them nice and um, sort of slimline and, and compact. Heaps of storage space, got the holes there to mount quick fists, extinguishers, etc. All these are Molly compatible uh, holes, your pouches, your first aid kits. Um, also compatible with the rear rib shelf, the cargo barrier. So, um, really good addition for that extra bit of storage.